Omicron comes right at the time when a lot of the younger children need to get their second shot. Thus, the fact that this clinic has been well populated throughout the day. It's also prompting people just like me to get their third shot. And Jessica here is going to administer my booster shot because right now that's what the governor, that's what Dr. Fauci, that's what a lot of people are saying is the only way to protect ourselves, at least at this point where we don't have a lot of information about Omicron. Go ahead and relax. Okay. hurt actually <laughs> take a look at this uh, more information for you <laughs> the longer we live with this virus the more mutations the more variants we will have to face and governor newsom's reaction to the first reported case of the omicron variant in the golden state vaccines are a pathway out of this pandemic but he admits the state is learning in real time what omicron means to us kaiser permanente's infection prevention and control physician says the concern over omicron has to do with the way the new mutation looks we found a significant number of mutations within that particular variant and some deletions within the genetic code um, those mutations and deletions have made the spike protein on the outer surface of the omicron variant look a little different than other versions of COVID. So that could mean the vaccine might lose some of its effectiveness. Initial reports suggest patients with the Omicron variant, including the traveler in San Francisco, exhibited only mild symptoms. But Dr. Edward Blues warned not to think that means Omicron is nothing to fear. There's concern that there may be more problems with this in more vulnerable populations. But again, the science is evolving on this, so we don't actually have a hard answer on that yet. Over the weekend, this clinic in Encino vaccinated over 600 people. Wednesday, the lines were shorter, but the people were no less eager for the shot. Win Tran brought his son Killian for his second shot. But we got to take care of ourselves now to deal with the future of COVID and, and the other evolutions of any other virus. So, I mean, just to be responsible to ourselves and to each other, that's, that's all we can do in society. Ten-year-old Stevie got his second shot, too. Do you know anything about Omicron? No, not that much. No. Does it concern you? A little. It'll be a, a couple more years or cycles until we can feel safe and free of masks yeah. again. I love the way she says that, free of masks. Like, free of masks, free of masks. Thank God Almighty we're free of masks. Oh, for that day. All right, I have a little bit of a pro tip for you. Yes, you saw that big long line over the weekend here at this vaccine clinic. Apparently, Wednesday and Thursday are the slower days closed on Monday. Reporting live in Lake Balboa, I'm Susan Hirasuna, Fox 11 News. How are you feeling, Susan? I feel fine, but I have to admit, that one, I took a different vaccine maker this time. So I had Pfizer, two shots of Pfizer. That was a J&J, &J, a Johnson & Johnson. And I did react because it, it, was, it was, it felt a little bit more, I don't know, I felt that one more. But funny enough, there's a smaller child over there, well, smaller, you know, younger <laughs> child. She didn't react at all. Yeah. She just like took it and I she just walked away. out. Yeah. I don't know. All right, Susan. All right, Susan thank okay. you. Thanks. You were